our disputes will involve lots of things like plans, diagrams, site photographs, and um, all of that kind of goes onto the record at some point in the arbitration. But the earlier you can start identifying what which of those images um, are going to help you get across some key points and how you can use those to create some visuals, um, I think the better. That said, I also know that sometimes it's it's hard to engage our clients to get them on board with visuals early because for them, first of all, they don't want to be in an arbitration. And second of all, if they are in an arbitration, they may not want to see it running its full course through to a hearing. And so often, um, if you are talking about visuals as something that's used at a hearing, um, you know, that's not necessarily the, the narrative that a client wants to hear. So sometimes when we're talking about visuals, we're talking about them not just as hearing aids, but as aids to put the strongest foot forward through uh, written submissions as well, or to be used in a mediation or, uh, or other ways that we can do it rather than something that's going to be prepared at the start, but then held on to and, and used kind of much later on in, in the process.